when John Lee talks about how mindfulness and alertness are your mother. They're the mother of all the good things you've done, all the good things you've been able to experience. So just as you should have gratitude for your human mother, you should have gratitude for the mother inside, the mother of all your good qualities, and take care of them. In other words, you really do want to develop your mindfulness. You set your mind on the breath, and if it wanders off someplace else, you remind yourself, come back, come back, come back. Each time you catch yourself, bring it back, bring it back. Don't give up. If you give up, then mindfulness doesn't get to develop. And alertness keeps watch for what you're doing. When you're here in the present moment, it's not simply being aware of anything in the present moment. You specifically want to know what you're doing and the results of what you're doing, because that's where you can make a difference. You can be aware of the sounds outside, you can be aware of the weather outside, and that would be counted as being in the present moment, but what difference, difference does it make? You want to make a difference. That's the whole purpose of the Buddha's teachings. He wanted to make a difference. He wanted you to be able to see that you can make a difference in your own life. Whatever habits you've had, you can change them. If people couldn't abandon unskillful qualities, he said, he wouldn't bother to teach them to abandon unskillful qualities. And if they couldn't develop skillful ones, he wouldn't teach them to develop the skillful ones. But they can do these things. So the voice inside this says, well, this is just the way I am, this is the way I'm always going to be. That's the destructive voice. That's the voice that's going against the Dharma. You're here to make a difference. So be mindful of the things that will make a difference. Be alert to the things that make a difference. In other words, your efforts to get the mind trained, your desire to get the mind trained, and then the efforts based on that desire. This is why these three qualities that John Lee said the real discernment it lies in the, in the ardency. When you're ardent to do what's right, because that's how the other qualities are going to develop. So show some gratitude to these qualities inside you. Look after them. And they'll continue to look after you.